all do everything we can to stay healthy. We go to the doctor. Some even radically change the way they eat. But they don't know that this might not be enough. You are what you eat, they say. But do you really know what you eat? The increase in demand has exceeded the natural capacity of the Earth to produce food. To that, we have to add plague and diseases from the cultivation. The food industry has worked on increasing the quantity of production, but not quality. Various studies have shown the presence of pesticides in the vegetables that come to us. Another factor is the time it takes for food to get to our table. Do you know how old your food is? Fruits and vegetables take from 5 to 21 days to get from the field to the supermarket. This decreases the amount of nutrients we consume. Since the discovery of fire, we cook our food. What we don't know is that by doing so, we are hurting our health. Scientific studies show that nutrients in our vegetables decrease 40% when we cook them, even if steamed. And not even knowing, we poison ourselves. By modifying the molecular structure of some foods with fire, the body does not recognize it and confuses it with toxins and then attacks it with leukocyte. Leukocyte, also known as white corpuscles, are a conjunction of blood cells that take care of our bodies and defend it against rare substances or infectious agents, bacteria, virus, etc. Since 1930, Dr. Paul Kuchikov concluded in his research that including raw foods in each of our foods counteracts the negative effects of the excess of white corpuscles in the blood, meaning we will avoid poisoning ourselves with our own food. This active and reoccurring false alarm of the immune system against cooked foods weakens the body and decreases its defensive ability, making it more vulnerable to infections. Imagine what it is for the body to fight against dead food several times a day. The German physicist Max Planck discovered, thanks to his heat theories, how heat affects the molecular structure of the body. On the other hand, publications such as the one from the Journal of Food Science concluded that 50% of proteins are destroyed when cooking our food. If we are what we eat, and if when using pesticides and cooking our food, we turn them into something that doesn't work, it means that, literally, we are eating trash. In the year 2013, Grain Brain was published, a result of research by Dr. David Perlmutter. In his work, Dr. Perlmutter emphasizes the importance of reducing carbohydrates in our diet for a good mental health. Dr. Perlmutter assures that the excessive consumption of refined sugars is toxic for brain health, and it is one of the main triggers for diseases such as Alzheimer, Parkinson's, and ADS, and even schizophrenia. But you can still change. To revert the intoxication due to foods, some experts recommend including in our diet between 51% and 80% of raw foods, such as vegetables, salads, and fruits. To not intoxicate ourselves, it is recommended to eat organic foods, non-processed nor altered with fertilizers or chemical pesticides. But how many of us are able to have and maintain our own vegetable garden? Another option is to buy organic products on specialized places, but their cost can sometimes be up to three times more. The stress of modern life keeps us at an impressive speed. This requires us to stay healthy. We have to take the responsibility of our health in our own hands. We prefer to waste more money on material things than in taking care of our diet, and that can be deadly.
The pharmaceutical industry is a business of $3,000 trillion. Is it convenient to an industry like that for people to be healthy? The philosophy of a pill for every ill has brought on many complications. All medicine has secondary effects. Only in the United States, 106,000 people die each year due to secondary effects caused by medication. Taking dietary supplements is beneficial for our health, but they will never say it on television. A 25% of TV ads are medication ads. Being healthy will not give anyone money. Things that help us are presented as dangers to our health. We don't need healthy people, but medicine consumers. A healthy diet is the basis of maintaining a good health. However, with today's rhythm of life, in spite of healthy eating, it is possible we don't obtain sufficient vitamins. Experts in healthy eating, such as Dr. Ellen Gaby, recommend nutritional medicine. In Japan, people maintain a standard diet where mainly seafood with omega-3 oils are consumed. Thanks to that, that country currently ranges first place in the least occurrences of cancer globally, only because of their diet. Dr. Roger Williams recommends that, if in doubt, use nutrition first. Two of the main causes of death are cancer and cardiovascular diseases. Civilization is the main cause for such illnesses. And today's inactive lifestyle, on top of a bad diet, drastically increased the number of cases of these diseases. A coronary bypass surgery can cost up to a quarter of a million pesos, not including hospitalization and medication. In the case of cancer, it has been demonstrated that using vitamin C via intravenous can destroy carcinogenic cells without harming others. Modern life has changed us. Our body has five times more lead than an Egyptian pharaoh's. Sweating is not enough to release toxins now. You wouldn't want all of that poison to go through your skin anyway. The main thing is to detox by drinking water. That is the first thing we should drink in the morning. Once you eliminate toxins, there will be space for nutrients to come in. So it is safer and cheaper to have good habits. It has been shown that consuming vitamins reduces up to 80% the risk of premature death. Vitamins don't cure you. They contribute to the natural healing processes of the body. They have made us believe that something safe and inexpensive can't be effective. And if medicines can't cure something, nothing can. This is false. We must help our body defend itself, support it with healthy foods, and this way ensure we have a good nutrition. Deciding what to eat is our responsibility. We must strengthen, not destroy our body. Vitamins are less aggressive, more effective, and less expensive than medicine. That is why OmniLife takes you in this transforming journey of a healthy life. Our dietary supplements are available to you in 20 countries around the world. Try our products, developed with the highest preventive technology and that helps strengthen your health and the health of your family. It is time to make a difference, to change the damaging effects that are condemning us in silence. The time to take action is today. Only life, people taking care of people.